Hi, my name is Michael Carroll. I'm the founder and the course director of the NLP Academy. I've been running NLP practitioner courses, master practitioner courses, and trainers training courses for over 20 years now. And one of the things I've found with all of my experience, the key to a trainer or for a trainer to run a successful NLP course is in the demonstration. That is the NLP demonstration that the students are watching to observe and learn how to do that specific patterns. Some NLP trainers teach through PowerPoint, some NLP trainers teach through layering in lots of content. I think one of the most effective ways to teach NLP is inductively with a series of steps leading up to a clear and transparent demonstration which is then followed by an exercise and then a breakdown of everything that everybody's learned. So what is a successful demonstration? A successful NLP demonstration is where the trainer can pick the optimal demonstration subject for that demonstration so that the students can really see a transparent and clear demonstration. Again, a lot of the art behind a successful NLP demonstration is demonstration subject selection. There are certain types of people that lend themselves specifically to certain types of demonstrations. So a trainer really wants to ensure that he or she picks the right demonstration subject. If you pick the wrong person or the person that doesn't match the criteria for the demonstration, the audience will not see a good demonstration. They may only see a mediocre one or even a failed one. You pick the right demonstration subject, you're stacking the deck to make it successful for you. Now obviously the NLP trainer has to know the pattern inside out. Many NLP trainers start teaching NLP without having used the patterning themselves in the coaching frame. So it's vital that the trainer knows every single step of that demo and every single sub-step of that demo that occurs within the framework in itself. Because in a demonstration or in an exercise, you may have step one, step two, step three. But invariably at step two, something will happen, the client will behave or respond in a certain way, what is steps 2.1, steps 2.2, and steps 2.3. These will not always be explicit to the audience, and they will become explicit once the trainer has done that successful demonstration. So you have demonstration subject selection, very important criteria. Knowing the patterns inside out, very important as well. And of course, the trainer's state is essential here. The state for a trainer when conducting demonstrations is different from when teaching NLP, um, for teaching the content of NLP, and is different from when coaching an individual as well. It's at a higher logical level. What does this mean? It means that the trainer has his attention on the demonstration subject and can build rapport with the demonstration subject whilst having his attention or her attention on the audience as well. Again, to include the audience in this demonstration is essential for their learning. The mistake that many people make is over putting too much attention on the demonstration subject and not calibrating the audience to see whether they're listening, looking and learning. So inclusion of the audience, rapport with the audience and pointing out the key changes that occurs in a client, the nonverbal behaviour that are changes that occurs in the client when he or she is doing the demonstration. So that's a key fact, the rapport and the calibration of the client and the rapport and the calibration of the audience as well. So these are some fundamental aspects in conducting NLP demonstrations. Obviously, how you work with that client, the students are going to model. So I think the training demonstration has to be totally transparent. When a trainer is teaching relatively new practitioners or relatively new students, the demo is going to be very explicit. The trainer doesn't want to be overly subtle, or the trainer knows how to be subtle and doing covert NLP. The trainer in the early stages of their students' NLP development wants to be very explicit, so there is something there to model. As the trainer is teaching more advanced classes, master practitioner classes, um, workshops that are aimed at advanced groups, the trainer will become increasingly subtle in the demonstrations so that the group is then modelling and learning the subtleties of NLP. 
So I think as an NLP trainer, you want to be really, really proficient in doing NLP demonstrations because ultimately that is what your learners and students are going to model. This is what I share on my NLP workshop, the art and skill behind successful NLP demonstrations. All of this information that I've been giving you uh, in this video. Now this workshop is not only aimed at NLP trainers, this is aimed at people who want to be NLP trainers, you know, and they're thinking about going on trainers training. If you come to this course before you go on trainers training, you will really be giving yourself a head start. If you are not an NLP trainer, and you have no intention of becoming an NLP trainer, yet you really want to learn in depth the steps behind demonstrations, the individual components of each pattern, this course will be ideal for you. Because during these two days, I will demonstrate all of the NLP practitioner demonstrations. And I will break down each step and the sub-steps as well. So you will leave with an in-depth knowledge of how to perform NLP with people in front of an audience, which of course can be transferred to coaches as well. So who is this for? Trainers, people who want to be trainers, coaches, and anybody who wants to learn advanced NLP. So the dates are coming up after this, the investment price is coming up after this. I hope to see you there, and thank you very much for listening to this video.